Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here. I think? I think that's what this is? This might be a comedy song? Hi, yes, welcome, if this is your first time joining us. As I said, I react to comedy music from the perspective of someone who does comedy music, and presumably... A summary in Simaru, a Genshin Impact song by the Stupendium, is a comedy song. I think, maybe, it could be comedic, it may not be an outright trying to be comedy song, but it could be comedic. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, uh, I do pause the videos so that I can get through them and not miss jokes or not miss any of the lines, so that when I react I'm not talking over the song and missing things. Uh, if this is uh, the kind of thing that you might enjoy, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get these videos early, get my music and videos early, exclusive reactions, all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's dive into this. First, I will say, however, this is a seven-minute song about Genshin Impact. A game that I have very little knowledge about. Uh, I I have played Genshin Impact. I played it once. Uh, was not for me. Well, just just was not for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, this will be interesting. I know very little about Genshin Impact. I know it's a free to play game. They put it on PS4, and and it's I think it's a mobile game at first, or something like that. It's uh, it's on a couple different things, PC, and I think it's on mobile. But uh, I played it on PS4, and 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 then I quickly deleted it. So um, this will be neat. Let's see what this is about. Of course, yes, this video is actually sponsored by the game Genshin Impact. I believe Stupendium had a code in their description for getting a bunch of items in the game uh, for using their code. So, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Uh, I did read a little bit of the description first, and I found out that this is being done uh, from the perspective of uh, someone in one of the academies in part of the map giving a history on the lore of the game. Seven minute song about lore. It's gonna be a lot. Well, hello. You don't look familiar. <laughs> I suppose you're here for a little bit of lyrical enlightenment, hmm? All right then. Strap in. Welcome to the traveler, you know what happened. Senior, you stand to be the grandeur of Sumeru Academia. A scholarly repository of knowledge and philosophy can go and a proper for yourself to be seen here. Well, it's fast. I do like how the uh, the actual uh, lyrics are done as if it's the text window from a character you're talking to in the game. It's a nice touch. But man, so you stand amidst the grandeur of Sumera Academia. Obviously, the the knowledge building. Yeah, that's what one would call it, a school. Knowledge building. I'm gonna call all schools knowledge buildings from now on. That's that's how my life is going. All right. Scholarly repository of wow, that was so good. Scholarly repository of knowledge and philosophy. Concoction and apocryphy are seldom to be seen here. And that's the cool thing, is like... It starts out with the... Academia. I haven't seen ya. Academia. And then it goes... with the... internal rhyme. And then it goes back to the original... rhyme. So it's a... it's an A, A... B, B internal. B, A again. 
Okay, this is it's not a style I've seen Stupendium do a lot. Uh, or if I have, I'm just forgetting about it, and that's fine too. We are seldom to be seen yet our word is efficient in a world with the disciplines enlightening the minds of the world and its citizens who strike me as likely a person who's visiting so might be you find to observe and the video game with boffins and technology and noggins the biology but boffins and noggins it just it sounds like like Dr. Seussian or Harry Pottery-ish yeah just boffins and bodgels and uh, 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 little Tolkien-esque yeah, so many fantasy words are all derivatives of other fantasy words. Visiting the mice, you find it uncertain. The fitting game with boffins and technology, and not with the biology, but you dropped into the college of the prof of ageology. The study of what was and is their causes, and probably you think of it as history. Simply stick with your tolerance. I also read that Stupendium had trouble uh, making the lip sync work because they were, they had the the mustache glued on, and it. It limited this being able to see their mouths move, uh, their mouth move, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> it's it's interesting. Also, trying to move at a old age kind of uh, pace, but the sets look great. It's a, I mean, it's, it some of it's green screen stuff, but uh, the costume is fantastic. The uh, the makeup is really good. Like, honestly, unless you knew that was Stupendium, I almost don't recognize that as Stupendium. It's really good stuff. Dropped into the college of the prof of etiology. Prof, short for professor, etiology. No idea what that is. Sorry. Etiology, the study of what was and is. Oh well, then then they explain it. The study of what was and is their causes and well probably. Probably you think of it as history. Simplistic. Oh, history. That makes sense. Just say hit it history then instead of, well, you are trying to make a song, so it's fine. The taller base, I want to be the Sumeru to summarize events for the quick initiation to equip you for adventure. The mythic twist of nations, the intrigues and invasions, exquisitely relayed by a semi certain mentor. I'll be honest, there's a lot of it, and they were never wrong. There's a reason no one's ever tried to share it in the song. My musicians of tradition proud the kingdom might prefer ballad. Well, that's beating wisdom, you'll forgive a little word, Sarah. <laughs> Okay, preferred a ballad, but when I'm spitting wisdom, you'll forget a, you'll forgive a little word salad. That's an amazing, number one, amazing rhyme. It's an amazing line. Uh, just, just great. Yeah, word salad, just meaning just a bowl full of, not like a metaphorical bowl, full of just... Tons of words. Word salad is just, there's so much verbiage happening. It, it, sometimes it's hard to, to catch everything. It's like, a, it's like a salad. There's so much lettuce in there, you're not really getting to the, the meat of it all, but sometimes salads don't have meat. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You, 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 the point is, it's, it's a lot of words. Word salad. Song of musicians of tradition, proud the kingdom might prefer ballad. Let us meeting wisdom, you'll forgive a little word salad. Then we'll start with the easy stuff. Well, easy-ish. So I'll take you through the basics. The Moldavia is a straight fact. It landed in the land and there's the continent of Tevat. It's made of seven nations. There's the talent and for payment. There's the Nile. You won't stand. I don't get overwhelmed. There's a plethora of rare... Don't get overwhelmed, they say. Too late. Look. Mythical names lots of different lands and yet able to find rhymes for those and work it into the song that's the thing that's amazing about what stupendium does uh they are given the task of doing a song about genshin impact i read in the description they weren't really sure sure how to tackle this and then found out that there's a a school or where there's a scholar that teaches you about the lore and just went, okay, well, here's, we're just going to do a song about the lore of the game. Uh, that's insane. That's insanity. We are a minute and a half in to this song. And, and this, this is another case of me going cross-eyed listening to this. It's, it's great. It's a great beat. It's a banger of a song. But there's so much flying at you at once. It's, 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 
being punched with lore. Which which you could have also named the song that, but I don't think Genshin Impact would have gone with it. And then for parents who were ruined in the Zubas, there's denial, you won't stand. I don't get overwhelmed, there's a plethora of realms, elemental, I did void and human where we dwell. But don't think of them as places, they all take up the same space, it's more like layers in a cake. Well, no, that ceiling may be well. Layers, like an onion. Or a cake. Shrek prefers onions. Cake is more delicious. The cake is filled with colors, no the elemental kind. There's light and dark perspective, but also called ley lines. Like magic dreams of energy that carry all the memories of everyone there's ever been and all they've left behind. Perhaps I should have tackled this before we've begun, but the human realm was held by the primordial one. I'd expect a god progenitor needs modern context first. No, this is too complex, I'll save it for the next verse. <laughs> Okay, yeah, see, there's there's the clever lines like this. Uh, no, I, uh, I'll, I'll save that for the next verse. That's that's really good. I'd expect, a cod progenitor. Uh, expect a cod progenitor needs modern context first. No, that's too complex. We'll save it for the next verse. That's that's a great line. Uh, also, I, I something I remembered uh, from the from the description. Stupendium is walking on a treadmill in these shots. Not actually walking through an area because uh, it's on a green screen. So the green screen is panning and they're just walking on a treadmill to make it look like they're actually moving, uh, which was made more difficult by a long robe trying to lip sync, trying to move slowly like an old person, and also trying to make sure that the mouth was moving with the mustache covering the lips for lip sync. Lots of difficulties. So the fact that they're even getting through this in this way, in this manner, with all of this, phenomenal. You thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? Thought I was going to swear. You're fucking wrong. Okay, now that hook is amazing. The Genshin Dimension? And pay attention? Oh, no, there's so many good rhymes in there. That's so good. If you fall from the stars for all sorts of fun travels, before you can start, you've got lore to unravel. <laughs> before you can start, you've got lore to unravel. Maybe that's why I didn't really get into the game. It seemed too lore-dense for me to, like, really understand what I was doing and why. Yeah, that's a possibility. Fall from the stars for all sorts of fun travels, before you can start, you've got lore to unravel. A crash course, yes. Let's stuff aeons worth of lore for a mythical land into a seven minute song. Crash course. It's like cramming for a test. Uh, man, that hook is great though. That is an amazing hook. Right. You got all that? Barely. Good. How about a little ancient history? Okay, you asked for it. So many millennia ago, there was the sovereigns, dragon lords, the all-powerful sort, just sort of hovering about all seven with a territory embellished by their presence with their elemental offerings. So, yeah, dragon lords, all the all-powerful all sort, just sort of hovering. Yeah, dragon lords. You know, they're not flying, they're just kind of hanging out in the sky, hovering about. That's great. Sort of sort of hovering about all seven with a territory embellished by their presence with their elemental offerings. You want to hear specifics, but we haven't got time. But each nation's got has got their own impact on their climbs. Each nation's god has got their own impact on their climbs. Uh, climbs, C-L-I-M-E-S, not not with a B, meaning climbs for, for climates. So each nation's gods impact how their weather reacts and their climates in the areas. Weather and climate are not the same thing, but they're related. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Okay. That's a lot. There's cryo, pyro, hydro, dendro, electro, geo, amino. Cairo, I'm sorry, cryo, would be ice. Pyro, obviously fire. Hydro would be water. Dendro? Not certain what dendro is. Dendro sounds like dandruff. I know that's probably not right at all. Electro, obviously electricity. Geo, meaning earth. And amino, 
Acid? I don't. That's amino is the only amino acids is the only thing I can think of. Uh, that's a lot. So G, I mean, I really convenient that they all happen to rhyme. <laughs> yes, very convenient, and it all worked together through that. That's so good. I gotta take that back. Okay, that section is really brilliant too. Uh, the progenitor I mentioned and a war had begun. The primordial one fought the lords of dragons. Messing with the pronunciation there a little bit to get the rhyme through, but still, we've all done it. That's the, that's the thing about comedy songs, or, or at least making a line in a song comedic, is sometimes you can futz with the pronunciation to make it work, to make and you messing with the pronunciation is what makes it funny. Um, Stupendium has done it before in, in the hook for... Uh, uh, the bellhop's bite. Um, there's a lot of pronunciation twists in that to make things not only rhyme with other things, but also just kind of like to sell the idea of what you're trying to say, but also making that idea rhyme with the words that don't quite rhyme. And there's there's a pronunciation shift in those that makes... It just makes it enjoyable and fun for the ears, and it's kind of funny in that way that you're twisting the pronunciation to make things fit in that manner. And that line like this in this song is something I enjoy for that kind of thing as well. And when all said and done, the primordial one. The primordial one, O-N-E, one, W-O-N. Ah, yes, the English language, whether you have words that sound the same but are pronounced but are spelled differently they're pronounced the same but are spelled differently and mean different things the primordial one number one the, or one who is primordial the primordial the primordial one one he he's the primordial one and he he wins he will won past tense of win uh it's just it's so punny and we know we know stupendium loves the puns so that works through that line there. I and just that 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 scan of four right there is just just really hit me really nicely. It's just it's just the perfect encapsulation of the wordplay that Stupendium does really well. And uh, yeah, I just dug that one a lot. Good thing. Says the somewhat human person. Uh, the blue ear. I don't know if it's an ear, but the blue thing over the ear is throwing me off. It's maybe they're not human. Don't know. The character, obviously. An agenda I should mention. There were sisters in the moon. Only one of them was canon, but I'm pretty sure it's true. <laughs> Only one of them was canon. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why that struck me as so funny, but it did. Uh, when learning about the lore of things, sometimes you, you learn about uh, fan theories or, or personal headcanon. Headcanon meaning something that a fan will think in their own head as being canon, but it's not actually like been confirmed to be canon in the story. Um, so that always amuses me. Okay. An agenda I should mention, there were sisters in the moon, only one of them was canon, but I'm pretty sure it's true. They lived in a lunar Paris where they kept the stars in balance, and the people called the city was irrelevancy true. But that's beside the point, the fact is all were living happily for several generations, got to slide beside humanity, a great civilization, nations beat into a tapestry of arts and innovation, then the ancient calamity. <laughs> then the ancient calamity. Man, there are, there is so much internal rhymes happening in this. And it's, it's going through that, you've got a line, the rhyme is an A, you've got a line, the rhyme is an A, you've got half a line is B, the rest of the line ends in B, the next beginning of the rhyme ends in B, and the end of that line rhymes with A again. There's a lot of, like, I guess you could call those th thirds, for lack of a better way of doing it, but it's basically becoming like A, A, B, A, 
but within B is BB, and before that last A is another B. Rhyme structure is weird. Um, and trying to describe it, I'm doing a terrible job. Sorry. Uh, but just the way this is structured is is really unique and really fun. Uh, and, and it's, you know, going from one rhyme, taking a pit stop into a new rhyme, and then going back to the original structure, or the original uh, rhyme sound, I mean, uh, is just... It's just super, super good. Universe, it just can't regress, but it's too late waste of the heavens and earth when the second who came, yes, I swear that's been it. Okay, the primordial one and the second who came. Yes, I swear that's their name, uh, Stupendium said. Uh, just names of characters in fantasy things. Just, yeah. Primordial one, the second who came. Because the primordial one was a progenitor, uh, meaning the one who started things, who, who began everything. And the second who came is literally the second. The second one to take over, the second one to do things. Just, it's all kind of literal. The records are regretfully meh. <laughs> Just kind of like glossing over all of that. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Let, let's take that back for a second here. What happened next? We're not actually sure because no one was able to keep records because they were too busy dying in order to. It says to keep track of the score, but obviously to keep track of the records. Need to make a rhyme. Uh. They were far too busy dying to keep accurate records as to what it was actually happening because there was so much death happening. Rough. <laughs> Filled with events too dense to mention, and yet seven minutes. <laughs> I know I keep bringing that up. But uh, I find it incredible that, that Stupendium is able to craft a lore-heavy song and have it be that long and still have it be as captivating as it is. It's an incredible talent to, to weave a musical structure for that long and, and to be able to keep your audience interested in it. And we are just about halfway through this. And yeah, I'm still I'm still on board for this, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, it's I, I can't imagine what they had to leave out of this song. Uh, just keeping it comprehensive for that long a time is incredible. And also, their next song is going to be like 11 minutes. My brain, I I I need I need like something to boost it so it doesn't melt halfway through. I don't know what's going to happen. Never do when I do these things. They're all spur of the moment kind of stuff, but ha alright. <laughs> this this session's intense. Oh man. The session's intense. Intent. Not not they say intense in the first line, but intense. Intent is. Intent, I N T E N T apostrophe S, meaning intent is rather than intense. There's a lot of puns with words that sound similar too. Like uh, M C Lars has done a riff on that. Uh, summer camp love is is too intense, meaning in T E N T in tense because you have tense when you're camping in summer camp love. Yeah, that's a whole thing. Meaning it sounds like the word intense, but he's saying intense. Rappers, man. Uh, wordplay. And the session's intent is to attempt to condense. And to dispense with all the questions. So if you have any questions from all the things that they're they're telling you about the game, no, all the intent of all of this is so that you don't have any questions because I'm trying to go through all the lore and, and, and learn you some stuff. That was a weird way of saying it, but that's... You know what I'm saying. Hopefully. Dispense 
The Academia Encyclopedia is a crack source. Was that what Stupendium read to learn all of this for the song? Don't know. Academia Encyclopedia, is that something in the game, or is that like an offline source from the game that's got all the lore in it? I honestly don't know, but good on them. Uh, you're still here. <laughs> um, people don't normally make it this far. I thought you might have switched for a different video during the second quarter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. Mentioned, mentioned before, it's still engaging. Uh, four minutes in, three minutes left in the song. Well, I'm sure the outro's got a bit of time on it, but uh, at least three more minutes left in the song. Uh, yeah, yeah, still, still in it, Stoops. And, uh, yeah, some people may have checked out, but not us. We ride on. Listen up, it's time to learn about the Archon War. When it started again, we are not sure. It's either part of the calamity or after it. What matters is it happened, it was bad, but it lasted for at least... <laughs> it happened, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, most wars are. <laughs> the whole millennia, again, be clear, we're guessing here. The date is in Celestia, a region in the heavens where the... Wow. It lasted for a millennia, we think. We're not sure, because, again... The records are unclear because people were dying because of the war. At least a whole millennia again, be clear, we're guessing here. The date is in Celestia, a region in the heavens where the gods are in their special chairs and sit and do whatever. Death, the question will do better. And <laughs> <laughs> That's. It's so simplistic to make that kind of joke, but it is so funny anyway. Essentially, what they're saying is. Uh, Celestia, the, de the deities, the gods of the realm, are in Celestia. Celestia being the, the land where the gods live, and they're sitting in their special chairs, and they do whatever it is you do when you sit in your special chair. Um, because, you know, we feel like maybe the gods aren't doing anything. They're just sitting around. They're not, they're not helping us. War is going on for a millennia, and they're just sitting on their fat god asses. Right? Celestia, a region in the heavens where the gods are in their special chairs and sit and do whatever. Death, the question, who do better and who gets to keep on blessing us? Seven divides, seats from the heavens divided. Each nation collides with those they used to ally with as deities fight over a plate in the sky until they got a seating where they could agree on design. They, while they were sitting there, instead of dealing with the war, they decided to, who are the gods, who are the deities that are going to be allowed to also be sitting here? Oh, so, sure. And when the chaos subsided and the seats were agreed, and those nation and flames had their duty to creed, all seven could they get up with an air of peace. No, there were eight hiding beneath their feet! <laughs> Just when you thought, no, no, everything's settled, the seven nations and the seven gods and everybody could agree, and no, there's, 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 a, there's an eighth one. Just hiding beneath their feet, apparently. Underground. That's what they meant by beneath their feet. God was underground, as it's going to say in the next line, which I read ahead. Yes, Henry, I was underground and hidden from the gods, which as you can imagine, well, they didn't like the loss, so they spoke them for their vanity. I know there's a calamity. We back by quite spectacular, but what were the odds? Because they at least... Yes, oh, yeah, what were the odds when you try to smite something and it backfires? Uh, yeah, no, it causes a calamity. Uh, who would have guessed? What are the odds? Yeah. Typical creatures, which is probably horrific, quit again. <laughs> yeah, can't say how horrific the thing is while you're being devoured by it. You know, can't imagine that, you know, oh, it's munching on my egg, my leg. Let me write this down real quick as to absolutely horrible this is. I must document it. No, generally, if you're being devoured by something horrific, you're kind of concentrating on that and not letting everybody else know. Maybe screaming it, but not writing it down. Just saying. Another half millennia, and hey, it's the present. Time. Wow. To make a little sense and help retention. 
make sure that you're learning everything that they're saying in the song. A melody to prep you for ascension, to help you move up in the world or the worlds beyond. It just it just caught on to me, or it just dawned on me. Want to make an impact? Genshin Impact. How did I not catch that before? How? Yeah, great. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to fight the gods, that's fine, but you gotta learn the lore first, apparently. Neat. Need a crash course. There we go. We're done. Let's complete a thorough history of the land of Teyvart. Everything you could need to know. Uh, I did neglect to mention the Nelsies, the Vision Wielders, the Vatui and the Abyss Order, at least one or two other types of dragon. Look, there's a lot, okay? You'll figure it out. It's stressful trying to keep track of this stuff. It takes a toll. Look at me! I'm only 26! <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for it. As soon as they said, it takes a toll, look at me. I'm like, how young are you going to say you are? 26. Beautiful. If it was Weird Al, they would have said 27. Uh, but uh, it's a number that's associated with Weird Al a lot. Um... So at five minutes, at just about six minutes, uh, the song ends. So that means the rest of this is outro. Uh, and also probably Stupendium plugging the code. So let's check it out. <laughs> Ginger Impact is an open world action RPG yes, game the outro. available on PC, iOS, Android, and PlayStation 4. And I was right, it is on mobile, iOS and Android, that's good. It finally came to PS5, and a lot of people were clamoring for that. Five. Step into a vast magical world now and start your adventure on the continent of Tevat. Tevat is the continent. Apparently, there are six other continents in there, six other realms, worlds, what have you, according to the song, at least. Uh, and the eighth one, underground, which was smote and caused the calamity. See, I was paying attention. I learned things from that song. I hope you did, too. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to go through all of this. Normally, I will watch a Stupendium outro, but this is more of an ad outro because this was sponsored by Genshin Impact. So uh, not necessarily something that I'm going to check out right now. But, of course, you can check it out because the link to the original video without me yammering all over it is in the description below. If you did enjoy this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and do the same for Stupendium's video, of course. And if you really want to help the channel out, my channel out, uh, you can join my Patreon to get these videos early. Uh, get your name in the credits like they are over here. All uh, my music and videos early exclusive reactions. I have Stupendium songs that I've that are not comedy that I've put up on Patreon to react to. All sorts of things like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye. It ain't my fault that I'm out here on the loose. Gotta blame it on the goose. You can't blame me. I'm a goose, baby. It ain't my fault that I'm out here making moves. Gonna tie up both your shoes. You can't